Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Fun Friday Writing Assignment. For today's Fun Friday Writing Assignment, we're actually going to make some banana cereal pops, and they're pretty delicious. So here are the ingredients that you're going to need for today's recipe. You're going to need a banana, some yogurt, and some cereal. Now the cereal needs to be kind of small just so it can cling to the outside of your banana. So you either want some cereal that is already in small bits or you might want to mash the cereal that you have up just a little bit. All right, so the next part of our writing is going to be writing about how we put our recipe together. So I want you to pay close attention to the transition words that we're going to use. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to take our banana and we're going to cut it up so it's ready to make our popsicles. Now, if you are really hungry and you have popsicle sticks, you can cut your banana in half and put that popsicle stick right in there. I don't have popsicle sticks, but I do have some toothpicks and I'm going to pretend to use those as a popsicle stick. Now, that would be a giant popsicle there and not work really well. So, I'm going to cut my banana even smaller into bite-sized pieces. So, there's a big bite. Boom, look at that big old bite. And there's a big bite right there, big old bite. Big bite and big bite. So, now I have my big bites all ready to go. I'm going to put some toothpicks in there. You don't even need toothpicks. You can just use your fingers for this. I'm going to use some toothpicks so it's more like having a little popsicle. All right, so now I have my bite-sized pieces all ready to go. Now the next step that we're going to do is dip it in your yogurt. You can use vanilla yogurts, strawberry yogurt, cherry yogurt, whatever your favorite yogurt is. So you're going to dip your banana in your yogurt. Dip that right in there. Get that dipped around in there. There we go. Look at that, all covered in yogurt. Then you're going to dip it in your cereal. Let's get that dipped in our cereal. Roll that around a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kind of see how we're rolling that around. And then we're going to dig it out. And then finally, we're going to put it on our plate. So let's do one more. I think I'll do one of my chocolate ones. I'm going to dig it into my yogurt. Roll that around. Take it back out. Next, I'm going to dip it into my chocolate cereal here. Dig it out. Put it on my plate. Once you have all of your pops on your plate, your very last final step is to go put it in your freezer. Now, it needs to be in your freezer for two to three hours before you eat it as a popsicle. And let me tell you, these will be a very nice spring and summer treat. I hope you enjoy them and I hope you have fun writing about them. Thanks, bye.